Telcom Business, behind South African businesses' drive to thrive. Welcome to the Entrepreneurial SME. I am Rems Mabote. Thank you for joining us. We continue to showcase some of Mzansi's resilient entrepreneurs, and joining me tonight to share her journey is Olivia Sehoa, who is CEO of Crinex Management. Let's take a look at what her business really does. I am Olivia Sukua, the founder and the CEO of Crinex Management. I'm the visionary. Crinex Management is the designer and manufacturers of bulk bags that are internationally known as flexible intermediary bulk containers. And these bags are used for packaging, storage, transportation, and tree planting. This business presented itself to a hungry, you know, uh, entrepreneur wearing magnified glasses in 2017 on her birthday that did not go according to her plan, but the plan of the creator. The challenges that uh, I have experienced and actually the business has experienced, you know, a start from um, limited resources. Taking the business where it's supposed to go requires a lot of investment requires a lot of, you know, uh, financial uh, resources. And also in the personnel side of, you know, uh, the business, you'll need to plan and execute. And with limited personnel, it becomes very challenging to actually have to take that plan to task. Some of the highlights, you know, um, in the last month, Queenex Management, has been awarded as the best you know, foreign exhibitor in the Zambia Keminex, the copper belt mining. As a, a business woman, I have sharpened my people skills, you know, having to apply a lot of wisdom, you know, a lot of emotional intelligence, and at the same time, be assertive. Also, having to realize that nothing comes easy, you know, you always have to work very hard and I have developed to be more resilient. In the next three years, Kleenex Management will be having a full in-house value chain and also servicing the global market as we are already exposed. Olivia, until I saw that clip, I would not have imagined what flexible intermediate bulk container business is. Why don't you guys call it storage? <laughs> <laughs> it is not just the storage. Remember, it's packaging as well. Okay. And it's a transportation okay. material. So you got an opportunity to do this thing. Was that your background? Did it begin there? Were you always in that space? Not even, hey? Basically, my background comes from, you know, I, uh, I graduated a tourism uh, national diploma. And uh, the first job that I had, it was in the airline, South African Airways, as a cabin crew member. And I landed in the ground services where we service the trade, travel trade market as a customer service agent, you know, in the commercial division. But entrepreneurship, lies in my DNA. You know, I was born and brought by uh, an entrepreneur, you know, that... Okay. Uh, okay, I'm answered. But then much earlier, again, in that clip, you mentioned the fact that to make it, though, yeah. it needed resources and yes. finance. Yes. Talk to me about that. Many people who would like to be sitting here yes. don't because they don't have resources and yes. finance. Hmm. Yes, it is. Uh, the bottom line is when you have a vision, it shall happen. When you have dreams, they shall happen. And nothing will stop you 
short of us sounding like a church service, yeah. I want you to tell me, <laughs> where did you raise your money? How did yes. you battle to get the resources yes. you know, in real okay. terms? Let me tell you, Rems, um, the first resource you know, came from my credit card, you know, uh, my siblings, you know, um, a little bit of uh, leftover uh, pension money from resigning from the airline, you know, and yes, in how, a nutshell. How big is this industry? I promise you this is a new industry to me, uh, and I think I know a few things, but I never heard of this one. It is a very big industry, you know, it provides multiple niche. You know, I can tell you the market size is 43% global market size of this industry. That's huge. And though, in your own ways, this is a very male-dominated industry. Yes. You broke into it. Yes. However, again, I look at that clip, and I see your employees are male. You're reversing <laughs> the gains that you made by breaking into the industry. Okay. No, actually, why do I currently have males? It is due to the limited resources again, you know, and uh, having to understand that at the current stage, the business requires general worker, you know, everybody that will be able to do everything that is required to be done. And, you know, being in this industry that is male dominant, you know, there is a lot of labor intense, you know, and by lack of the resources, for example, I don't have a lifting equipment, you know. I don't have uh, a forklift, you know. And I would require those males to be able to lift that. Okay, I, I hear you. So talk, talk to me then about the, the genesis. Let me rephrase. Yeah. Who would be your client? Who would be your typical client? Our typical client is uh, your mining industry, yeah. your agricultural industry, your forestry, which is the big nursery planters, the yeah. big tree nursery planters. And by the mining industry, I basically mean uh, your, your mineral producers, you know, uh, your, your mineral processors. But that sounds very competitive, right? I mean, I can imagine there are big players <laughs> in that space. <laughs> yes. How do they then choose Crinex over and above the big boys who've been there over yes. the years with, with forklifts? <laughs> You know, Rams, um, it has not been easy, you know, and uh, we've got a competitive age, you know, as small as we are, you know. What is that age? Have you identified it? Yes. Customer relation, you know, it's very key. It's very important. You know, uh, the, the, the fact of customer is a king still exist, never overlooks that. Because for a business to exist, you require a customer and a happy customer, and a customer that can rely on you, and a customer that is treated with honor and respect as they are the kings. How do you deal with the fact that you still walk into the customer's door yes. and they see a black woman yes. in a space that is white male, I suppose, yes. and the reception is not as positive as you'd want it to be, very quickly. Let me tell you, in business, this is a business to business space. Every business require an efficient service, yeah. no matter what, no matter the skin color. Ah. My customer, you pick up one call right now, they will tell you, because Kleenex is efficient. That is how I win in the game. I'm still small, but yeah. But she speaks the big game, so hang around. <laughs> Olivia Zehua is my guest. We'll come back shortly. <laughs>